A popular fish up north has seen its numbers drop dramatically over the past decade. Steelhead are a type of rainbow trout that head to the Knife River to spawn, but fewer and fewer have been making that trek in recent years. John Lordson explains the reasons why. They've been in Lake Superior since the late 1800s. They're part of the ecosystem. They're part of the food web. During the spring spawn, a beautiful part of the Knife River attracts a beautiful fish. This is what the anglers are after right here. And as steelhead make their way upstream, some are getting caught in the DNR's river trap. We've got a weight of 1.48. Here they are weighed, measured, and then up top, they get their tag for tracking. Now Lauren's going to put in a pit tag. It gets injected into the back. Then the fish are released. The entire purpose of this is to learn where they're coming from, where they're going, and why their numbers have dropped. In 2016, the DNR counted 1,000 adult steelhead coming through their Knife River trap. Now that number has dwindled to just 200 steelhead. Here in the North Shore, we're caught in this drought flood cycle where either all of our rain comes at one time or it doesn't come at all. Corey Goldsworthy of the DNR believes flooding has blown out some fish habitat and drought has limited their resources. Our rivers rely primarily on runoff. So if we don't get rain, our rivers get really low. The trapping and tagging also helps determine what can be done to help steelhead. The DNR is learning that while they can't control mother nature, they may be able to help the fish in other ways and give them a chance to flourish once again. With our stocking program, that's our hope is that we can provide not only harvest opportunities like we have done for 30 plus years, uh, but also provide catch and release opportunities and then bolster these wild populations as well. In Knife River, John Lordson, WCCO News. Goldsworthy says brook trout and, other, and salmon are other fish that have been impacted by weather patterns in recent years.